Well, good morning there. Day four, crafting season 2018. And it's kind of rainy looking. It's been raining on my way down to the job site. Uh, it's not right now. Weather report says we got a 50-50 chance. So we're gonna go see if we can work. Um, we can graft in the rain, but that paint, that black paint we use, uh, if it washes down into the cambium layer, that's a big no-no. That'll kill the cambium, so we can't have that. Uh, if it starts pouring down rain, we have to stop. And uh, sometimes we can go back out after the rain and paint them, but you don't want to have the chance of the wind blowing and then dry out the cambium. So it's kind of a tricky deal. Well, it's kind of dark and dreary out here. It could rain, but Victor's getting started. Um, I just hope it holds off. Victor's got four rows cut down, so that will last him about an hour and a half, maybe. So that gives me time to cut enough wood uh, to get him supplied for a while. He's burning about a box in an hour, I think. No, less than that, about 40, 45 minutes. Anyway, um, I've got six more rows to cut down. As soon as I get him an ample supply of wood, uh, then I'll start cutting these trees down. But I can, I can jump in right in front of him. I'll watch him when he's just about coming out. I'll, I'll jump in there and, and uh, get him knocked down. I can get out ahead of him pretty quick. Somebody, I don't know why we wear these white suits. Well, we wear these white suits to keep our clothes clean, <laughs> and so I don't mess up my truck seats after chainsawing it. At the end of the day, I've got chainsaw oil and, you know, gas and grease all over me and sawdust, and so I can peel these off and not mess up my truck seats. Plus, on a day like this, they make a pretty good wind, windbreaker. What they are are spray suits. These guys in the orchards, the orchard supply company, sell these, um... I don't know, they're not cheap. I bought a hundred bucks worth of them the other day. But uh, they sell them to the orchardists so the guys can wear them when they're spraying. And they got a hood on them. And uh, when they're spraying the chemicals out in the orchard, it kind of protects them from that. And then they're wearing a respirator also. And the goggles, so uh, they have to be well protected from those pesticides. Um, but uh, on a day like this, they make a good good wind break. Um, you know it's 37 degrees out here and a little breeze once in a while there's a breeze and it's it's cold. I have a hood on earlier. I uh, was watching uh, Mr. and Mrs. Heavy Chevy the other day all, all huddled up in their shop a shivering and shaking and talking about how cold it was and it's 50 degrees. 50 degrees is cold anywhere and Oh, boy, I tell you, I wish it was 50 degrees. I turn the heat off in my shop when it gets to 50 degrees. That's where the thermostat's set to go off. <laughs> uh, but before y'all um, start sending me hate mail and everything, uh, I'll let you know the heavy Chevys and I, we're friends, and they know I'm teasing, and I tease him, I tease him all the time about his 60-degree cold start. So... So don't send me any hate mail. We're, we're all friends and they know I'm just joking with them. But I, uh, I do, I wish it was 50 degrees. But I think, I believe Mr. Heavy Chevy grew up, or at least spent some time when he was a kid, I believe in New York. So, uh, 
I may be wrong about that, but uh, if that's the case, he knows what cold is. Typically, we cut this wood with little, uh, just regular hand shears. I mean, they're nice ones. They're Swiss-made uh, Felcos. They call them Felco II. That's the ones you want, man. They're good clippers. Uh, but that's what my guys use. This, I call this my secret weapon. And uh, I don't let anybody else use it. Because I'm afraid they'll cut your fingers off. I had Carrie pick them up one time and start to use them. And, and I could tell right away. I said, no, nah, put them down, Carrie. Because she was holding that wood right up here and going right up here to cut it. I go, oh, no, no, no. Put them down, Carrie. I, I just can't. I could never live with myself if somebody working for me cut their finger off with this thing. And they would cut them off, too. All the way off. You'd be running around looking for your finger. Where's my finger? I don't want that to happen to anybody. All right, I'm going to turn this camera off. Uh, it would be pretty boring for you guys to just sit and watch me cut wood. It's boring for me to sit and watch me cut wood, so I don't want to put you through it. But, uh, but I do hope that uh, you guys that like this crafting thing are interested in it, if it's new to you, and, and uh, I hope you like this new channel. I appreciate you hanging out with me. It's nice to have somebody to visit with. It's kind of boring sitting here doing this by myself. But I'm going to give you guys a break.